Isa ka ba sa mga estudyante na nahihirapan sa pag-represent ng mga real-life situation using function? So this video is for you. So nag-create ako ng uh, very simple explanation kung paano natin i-represent ang mga real-life situation using function. So sit back, relax. This is our lesson for today. Okay, so hello, what's up mga so, okay, welcome back sa channel ko at sa lahat ng mga bago at hindi pa ako kilala, ako nga pala si Sir Pen, ang inyong math teacher, ang inyong libreng math tutor at isa ring tech enthusiast. At ngayon, pag-aaralan natin kung paano natin i-represent ang mga real life situations using function. Okay, so let us have the first example. So, you pay 24 pesos for 2 CDs, 48 for 4 CDs, and 120 for 10 CDs. That means, ang bawat isang CD costs 12 pesos. So, the question is, paano natin siya i-convert into a functional notation? One strategy is make a table and uh, study the data on the table. So, we can summarize it using this table. And then, uh, tingnan natin. So, 2 is 24, 4 is 48. And 6 is 72. Now, remember, in uh, every time nagagawa tayo ng isang functional, functional notation, kailangan muna nating mag-assume ng mga variables. Okay, mag-assume tayo ng variables. Let's say, ang number of CDs, gawin natin siyang small letter N. Tapos, yung cost ng CD, gawin natin letter C. So, yung cost ng CD nagbabago depende sa, na, sa number of CDs. Okay, so, ang maging pangalan ng function natin is C of N. N is the independent variable, and C is the dependent variable. Dependent siya sa value ni N. And we know that 12 pesos for each CD. So, lagyan natin si 12. So, paano nagbabago yung value? So, yung 4, para maging uh, 48 siya, i-multiply mo siya sa 12. Diba? Yung 6, para maging 72 siya, i-multiply mo rin siya sa 12. So, basically, we are just multiplying the number of CDs by the amount of each CD, which is 12 pesos. So, therefore, we can write it as N. So, that will be our functional notation. So, uh, C of N is equal to 12 N, or 12 pesos, for each number of CD na binibili natin. Kung bumili tayo ng 20 na CD, so, n is equal to 20. So, maging c of 20 yan. And then, maging 12 times 20 is equal to 240. So, yun yung babayaran mo kapag bumili ka ng 20 pieces na CD. Let us have the second example. So, Maya has a postpaid internet service that is currently has a monthly access of 1,999 pesos. So, which is an equivalent to 60 gig data allowance. So, yun. So, ibig sabihin, uh, alam naman natin kapag ka merong uh, postpaid internet service, um, kung ang consumption may less than 60, 60 gig, eh di babayaran mo pa rin is 1,999. So, paano mo siya isasulat as, as a functional, functional notation? So, mag-assume muna tayo ng mga values. So, ganun ulit. Let's say letter C. So, let C cost of the internet service. Yung iyong data consumption per month. Okay? So, let's say letter D na lang yun. Letter D is the data consumption per month. So, ano maging pangalan ng ating function? So, yung cost natin per month, yung babayaran natin per month, ay nagbabago depende sa ating data consumption. So, that will be C of D. Okay? Again, kaya, kaya C of D because uh, the cost is a function of the data consumption. Ibig sabihin, nagbabago yung ating costing, nagbabago yung cost na binabayaran natin sa internet service dahil nagbabago din yung ating data consumption. So, paano nga ba nagbabago? So, so kada excess mo ng 1 gig, magbabayad ka ng 30 pesos. So, let's say kung 10 gig yung iyong uh, excess, so, mabayaran mo is uh, 30 times times uh, 10, that will be 300 pesos in addition to the 1,999. O, isa-isay natin. So, halimbawa, noong unang month, o, month number 1, ang iyong data consumption, so, data consumption is equal to 64. 64 gig. Okay? So, paano mo malalaman yung iyong babayaran? To compute, so, yung 1,999, babayaran mo pa rin yan ng buo, 1,999. Pero, madadagdagan siya kasi lumampas ka sa sa data cap na 60 gig. O, 60 gig lang, ba? O, 60 gig lang dapat yung iyong uh, consumption. Pero lumampas ka. So, that will be an addition. Addition ng ano, 30 pesos dun sa iyong data consumption, yung iyong uh, excess. Paano malalaman yung excess? So, that will be 30 times 64 minus 60. O, 64 minus 60 is 4. Yung 4 na yun, multiply mo yun sa 30, kaya maging 120. So, ang costing nito ay 2,119. Okay? Halimbawa, nung second month, o, oh, month number 2, ang data consumption ko ay 70 gig. O, oh, lumampas ako. Lumampas na naman, ba? So, paano natin siya kukomputin? Ganun din. So, 1999 plus 30 times 70 minus 60 is equal to 2,299. And then, halimbawa, month 3. 
o month 3. Ang data consumption ko ay let's say 67, 67 gig lang. O paano siya ko-compute? 1999 plus 30 times o ilan yung ating uh, excess? Paano malalaman yung excess? So 67 minus 60 is equal to, magkano? 2,209. 2,209. Okay, ngayon, o, oh, meron na tayong tat tatlong example. Pag-aralan na natin yung mga data. So, para makapagsulat na tayo ng ating functional notation. So, anong pangalan ng function natin? C of D. Is equal to, paano natin siya isusulat? Pansinin natin kung ano yung mga nauulit ng lagi. So, ang fix na laging kasama sa equation is yung 1,999. Kasi babayaran mo yun. Babayaran mo yun kahit less than pa or more than yung, yung uh, data consumption. So, fix yun. So, sa mathematical term, constant ang tawag doon. Plus, so, paano mo, ano pa yung uh, constant dyan? O, yung constant natin, nauulit lang din si 30. Kasi doon mo i-multiply yung yung excess. So, that's 30. Saan mo i-multiply? Siyempre, doon mo i-multiply sa excess. Paano mo nalalaman yung excess? Tingnan nyo to. Ano tong 64 na to? 64, 70, at 67. Divide yung D. O, divide yung D natin dito sa ating function. So, that will be D. Tapos, pansinin din natin yung 60. Yung 60 ba naulit? Naulit lang ba yan? O, yung 60 natin, naulit lang din yan. So, ma-minus natin sa 60. O, ba? So, therefore, ang ating functional notation is C of D is equal to 1999 plus 30 times D minus 60. Okay? But, we can still simplify this uh, format of uh, function. O, pwede pa natin yung isimplify. So, paano natin isimplify? So, sulat din ulit natin si C of D is equal to si 1999. Tapos, itong, D na, itong 30 na to, i-distribute natin yan sa dalawang yan. So, 30 times D is 30D, and 30 times negative 60 is negative 1,800. Yan. And then, yung 1,800 ibawas na natin kay 1,999. So, ang matitira dyan is 1,999 na lang. Plus 30D. O, ba? So, ang ating function na ngayon is C of D. C of D is equal to 1,99 plus 30D. So, subukan natin mag-compute ng example. So, tingnan natin, halimbawa, ang D natin is 64. Ang D is 64. So, ang makakompute natin dyan is C of 64 is equal to 1999. Ay, sorry, 199 plus 30 times 64. O, 30 times 64, 1920. So, that will be 199 plus 1920, 2119. Parehas lang ba siya nito? O, ba Parehas lang sila. So, ang di natin dito ay 64. Ang di natin dito ay 64. So, therefore, this one is the simplified format of the functional notation. Ito, pwede din ito. So, depende sa teacher ninyo kung ano yung re-require sa inyo. Kung itong ganito ay okay na sa kanila or pwede rin ganito yung naka-simplified version. Okay, so for example number 3. Si Edward daw ay isang balloon artist. Binabayaran siya ng 5,000 pesos per month. Tapos nadadagdagan yung sweldo niya ng 30 pesos tuwing merong positive feedback na nakukuha from the clients. So, paano natin ito gagawan ng functional notation? So, meron ng mga given na value. S is the salary and P is the positive feedback. Ang dependent variable dito ay yung ating salary. Yung salary natin ay nakadepende kanino. Nakadepende sa kung ilan yung positive feedback. Okay? Although fixed na yung 5,000 na salary niya, pero nadadagdagan siya depende sa positive feedback. So, that will be the salary is the function of positive feedback. Okay? So, ang function natin ngayon is S of P. So, another, ano, i-analyze ulit natin. So, halimbawa, in the first month, o in the first month, ang kanyang uh, positive feedback ay, let's say, 20. Okay? So, paano mo i-compute yung kanyang salary? So, that will be 5,000. Yung 5,000, lagi mo yung, ano, kasi sweldo niya yan. Dagdagan natin ng positive feedback. So, magkano ba per positive feedback? For every positive feedback, nadadagdagan siya ng 30 pesos. So, yung 30 pesos na yun, i-multiply mo sa kung ilan man yung positive feedback niya, which is 20. So, magkano magiging sweldo niya ngayon? 5,600. Okay? So, halimbawa, nung second month, o oh, second month, medyo matumal. Ang kanyang positive feedback lamang ay 10. So, that will be 5,000 plus yung 30 times ilan yung positive feedback? 10. So, magkano yung sweldo niya? So, that will be 5,000 plus 300 is 5,300. Nung third month, pumalo ang business nila. Okay? Nagkaroon siya ng 60 na feedback. P is equal to 60. Yan. So, magkano na sweldo niya? So, that will be 5,000. Duma, dumami. Plus, 30, ay, 30 times 60 is equal to, magkano? So, 30 times 60 is 1,800. 1,800 plus 5,000 is 6,800 pesos. O, yan yung kanyang sasweldo in for that month. Pag-aralan ulit natin yung mga for computations natin. So, paano natin siya isusulat as a functional notation? So, lagay natin dito. S of P is equal to, yung 5,000 ba constant? Paulit-ulit lang yung, yung 5,000. So, ilagay natin dyan yung 5,000 kasi constant yan. Then, plus, ano pa yung naulit? Yung 30 plus 30 kasi doon natin minumultiply yung positive feedback. So, that will be 30 times. O, ilan yung positive feedback? Ano yung, ano, ano yung 20? Ano yung 10? Ano yung 60? Yung, yung mga yun is yung ating letter P. So, palitan natin to. So, lagay natin is P. So, ang ating functional notation ngayon ay S of P is equal to 5,000 plus 30 
p. Okay? Next example. Give a function b, okay, meron tayong pangalan, b, that can represent the amount of battery charge of a cellular phone in each hour if 12% of the battery was lost every hour. Okay, so ibang strategy siguro gagawin natin dito. So, pangalanan muna natin yung ating function. Yung battery daw, battery charge, ay nagbabago depende sa number of hour. So, ano yung dependent variable natin? Ang dependent variable natin is the letter B. Nagbabago kasi siya, depende sa oras. Okay, kasi yung battery charge natin, nagbabago, depende sa uh, kung gano'ng katagal mo na siyang ginagamit. Okay? So, let's say, ang ating magiging pangalan ng function is B of H. Yung ating dependent variable ay yung ating B, kasi nakadepende siya sa number of hours. Gawa natin ng table. Let's say, yung ating, uh, yung ating H is the number of hour, and yung ating... B is the battery charge. Ayan. O, ang tanong, after mo mag-charge ng yung cellphone, gano'ng karami, o, ano na yung H natin doon? O, zero muna yun, kasi kaka-charge mo lang. So, kapag kaka-charge mo lang, 100% pa yung yung battery charge. Okay? Now, after one hour, ilan na lang siya? After one hour, that will be 88% na lang. Kasi minus 12, diba? Tapos, after two hours? After two hours, that will be 76. After three hours, that will be uh, 64. After 4 hours, ilan? So, that will be 52. Ayan. Now, let us study the, the table. Okay? So, at 0, 0 hour, so that's 100. 0 to 1 hour, ilan yung computation natin dito? That's 100 minus 12. Diba? O, ilang 12 yung ibinawas natin? Isa, diba? Ayan, isang 12. So, mula dito, papunta sa 2 hours, that's 100 minus 12 ulit, times ilan? Ilang 12 na ito? Yung ibinawas dito, dalawang 12. 12 times 2. So, from 0 to 3 hours, from uh, 0 to 3 hours, that is 100 minus 12 times 3. And lastly, oh, dun sa 4 hours, that is 100 minus 12. Ilang 12 yun? Yung ibinawas dito. So, that is 4. Okay? Tingnan natin yung mga naging equation natin. Ang mga naging equation natin is 100 at h equals 0 muna. O, oh, 0. Ang ating naging equation is 100 minus 12 times 0 kasi wala ka namang 12 na ibinawas dun h equals 1, that's 100 minus 12 times 1. Kapag 2 hours, that's 100 minus 12 times 2. 3 hours and 4 hours. Okay, tingnan natin. May pattern na naman na nabubuo. Ano yung constant na laging paulit-ulit lang? Ayan. So, that's 100. Okay? Minus. Laging may minus eh, ba? Minus 12. Yung 12 paulit-ulit lang din. Copy natin yung paulit-ulit. That's 12. At ano yung 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 na yun? Yung 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is the h. So, multiplied by h and 12. So, 12h. So, ito yung ating maging functional notation. So, 100 minus 12 times h. Okay, so paano hanggang dito na lang ang video na to? Maraming maraming salamat sa panonood. If you think this video is helpful, please give me a thumbs up and uh, click the subscribe button dito sa side na to. And uh, click the notification bell para ma-notify ka whenever I have new uploads. So, maraming pa akong i-upload na video regarding general mathematics kasi yun yung tinuturo ko ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat. Muli ako po sa Serpen, ang yung math teacher, na laging nagsasabing if you cannot change the world, at least make a difference. And this is my way of making a difference. Bye-bye!